Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, before I get started here, well, let me just start. So this is my first time filming on my new Canon camera. Hopefully it doesn't shut off. Hopefully everything looks somewhat normal. It is nine o'clock PM which means all I have on is my ring light, obviously. It is not light out anymore. And I thought since it's not 105 degrees in my house that maybe I could actually film a video. The tripod is so much lower than I'm used to, so if I'm not looking where you are, I apologize but you're just gonna have to bear with me. So, is this a tutorial on how to get raccoon eyes? No. Is this a video where I try out some sparkling shimmer and glow oils and setting sprays? Yes. So, if you didn't know, I'm Renee, Seattle MUA Renee on Instagram. Oh, it is hot in here, not gonna lie. And so my hair does not look that great. It looked a lot better earlier. And so did my makeup. My allergies have been insane. Seattle has not really had summer, and so it actually rained today, which for me meant that everything that had come in bloom and every allergy that I am probably allergic to is now in the air again. So, yeah, I made the mistake of uh, rubbing my eyes, and I had to put my prescription allergy eye drops in. So uh, that didn't result in my very smoky cat eye, raccoon eye makeup looking as flawless and as great as it did when I first did it. But I figured, you know what, screw it. I'll get on here anyways. So that is what we're going to do today, tonight. So let's get to it. Before I start, um, I am going to the next video that I upload, hint, hint, wink, wink. You might want to subscribe. You might want to hit the bell because I have gathered all of the, this stuff for the next massive giveaway. So you will need to be subscribed to this channel, obviously, and also following me on Instagram, Seattle MUA Renee. I'll leave a link below, obviously. And um, yeah, so this is all going to be in the giveaway. There's going to be two winners, so that's why there's two of a lot of this stuff. Got Kylie palette in here, tart blush. Just saying, you guys, this is gonna be a good one. You're not gonna want to miss it. I mean, I do giveaways all the time. I feel that is a better way to reward uh, people that actually support me, and so therefore I do them a little bit differently. I don't require any reposting or anything like that because for me I like to give back to the people that actually support me therefore that actually watch my videos maybe give it a thumbs up maybe a comment on Instagram it's always funny and I know that it won't ever change and I know that I could say this a thousand times and nothing it'll keep happening like I, I know that but it is just, it's actually kind of funny to see all the people that come out of hiding or wherever they come from. They're just a ghost. And then all of a sudden, Casper appears before my eyes and 
as soon as I say giveaway, everybody is going and just being super active on my page and pretending like they're my best friend. And that's great and all. I appreciate any love, all the love, but just saying, I notice a lot more than most people think, uh, because I am interactive. I do try my best to get back to everyone. And that's not just like for my engagement. It's because I genuinely love talking to you guys and helping in any way, shape or form that I can. So, um, I should have put on fake nails too late now. So let's get started spraying. I'm not even sure where to start with this video, but I just got in, I got one of each of the Soul Body uh, ColourPop's sister brand. So I got one of the Glow Oils and one of the, it's upside down, Shimmering Dry Oils. I wanted to try one of each. I know that one is older and one is new, but they actually released around the same time. So I got Soft Gold and Rosé. I have not even sprayed those yet. So this is going to be a slash try on, compare, and first impression, at least for the sole body. So the ones, let me just knock them all over. The ones that I They're all going to be broken by the end of this video. So these are the new soul ones. I got the Shimmering Dry Oil, and then this is the Glow Oil. I have not uh, planned out how we're going to do this. Obviously, I only have two arms and two legs. So, you know, we're just going to have to get a little creative because that's what we're here for, right? So these ones, I will say, are my darkest body illuminators, the NARS, and this one is old. It's the Minoy Body Glow in shade one. I believe they still make this. And then Fenty, I know that they came out with new shades of this. So I believe both of them are still available on Sephora. So these guys are my darker kind of, you know, I'm tan, it's summertime, possibly put on the legs type situation. And then I know that this one is also the same kind of thing. This is more of a tan, like Insta Bronze airbrush spray. So that is going to be a little difficult to try. Uh, maybe we'll make another video dedicated to kind of my self-tan process, what I do, tutorial, not a tutorial, because that, that would be weird, at least for me. I'm sure that a lot of guys out there would love to see that, but no, that ain't going to happen. Let me know, like, let me know in a comment or give me a thumbs up or something if you want to see my self-tanning routine. So those are those. They're more for the tan category. And then I have the, I would kind of consider these in the same category of setting sprays with a little hint of, you know, not, not sparkle, but definitely a little dewiness, a little shine, if you will. So let's spray this down here. Let me move that. I just used this today, actually. So, so as you can see, not real, uh, you know, hugely sparkly but just adds a really nice dew to the skin. This one, I, I actually have a oily combo skin and this is the only, I believe the only thing that has the word dewy 
that I use and love and that doesn't make me look like a glazed donut in an hour. So definitely recommend this one. I do prefer it over the Fix Plus. This is the one in pink light. So this does have kind of the same effect. It's not marketed as a dewy spray, but they made the pink light and then they have the gold light. So they actually do have more pizzazz, more glam, more sparkle, shine, glow to them than the normal, just your regular Fix Plus that comes in all kinds of amazing scents now. I, I need more scents. They have some new ones that I am eyeing for sure. Um, and you can't ever go wrong with Fix Plus. And even this is great to use as like um, eyeshadow if you're doing a shimmer uh, shadow, then it's great to pack on your brush with the shimmer shadow and then spray it with a dewy set. Works like a charm. And then Anastasia came out with the shimmer body oil, which I did use in a different video recently. I'll see if I can find that and link it for you. But this one is definitely sparklier. Is that a word? Sparklier? More sparkly. But it doesn't... Um, <sighs> my words, they're just not coming in tonight. They're just not for me. I will say that this does transfer quite a lot. I did notice that. And so if you're wearing... You know, if you spray it on... I definitely recommend staying away from areas that are really close to clothing that you could be wearing and definitely maybe put it on after you get dressed, whatever. Or if you're putting it on on the beach, then that would work great. So this one, just spray it a little bit up top there so you can tell the difference. This one is definitely much more sparkly. It has just very more chunky glitter to it. However, it does, like I said, transfer very easily. So just in the example, Exhibit A uh, noted for the books. But so this one, I do love it. But just keep in mind that it does transfer quite a lot. And you're going to have glitter all over. Moving on. The Soul Rio. Oh! This one is the Master Flash Glow Oil. And I know I got a different color. As you can see, they're kind of all different. And I tried to do that because of the fact of just owning different shades. Uh, this one I have not used yet. I'm trying to find the color. Oh yeah. This, this is fun. Oh my gosh. This one smells so good too. Okay, I'm going to need more of these. These, this is amazing. Easily your go-to look for looking like a glazed donut with a splash of unicorn on the side and like an oil moisturizer, which I love. Even though I'm oily, I, I still love being <laughs> having an oily body to go along with my oily face. Uh, these, this is old, er, and this is more for face. I believe you can either, I like, what I like to do is put just a little bit of just a few little drops in with my primer, or 
you can use it as like a liquid highlighter. Also love the Benefit High Beam. So this one, I'd say it's kind of similar. This is a little bit thicker than Benefit's High Beam, but just a really beautiful gold, you know, you could use it as a base. So what I used to do frequently to make my highlight just stand out from outer space is use a cream product like that. I used to always use Benefit High Beam because it was one of the first, I believe, liquid cream highlighters I had. And then just put that on. And then if you put powder right on top of it, or if you spray your face with Fix Plus or the Anastasia Dewy Spray or Dewy Set Spray and then go in immediately with powder. It will just intensify the powder so much more. And then you can lock it into place again with a setting spray or even like a matte spray, but not like right on your cheekbones. You know, if you get oily in your T-zone, I'm blabbing way too much as usual. So then... And I would say that this is kind of similar to the Anastasia Dewy Set, the Farsali Rose Gold Skin Mist. I do, I like it. I've used it a few times and I can't quite put my finger on why I like the Anastasia one better, but I just find that this one doesn't, you know, looks can be so deceiving. You see this beautiful bottle and you see it has these little gold flecks and you think that if you're going to spray this on your face, you might have gold flecks on your face, but that just isn't the case. And so I get a little, you know, bummed out about that. But yeah, I mean, I can't, I literally cannot see any sparkle whatsoever on there. So you know, I mean, it's it's beautiful, and I think as far as hydrating the skin and what it does for the skin, I think it's great for that. But if you want something that actually has a dewy, sparkly effect, then this is not your your one, your one and only. Now the Patrick top. This spray and this I noticed is marketed for face, but I mean, you can use it on your body, it's not like anything's gonna happen. If it's for the face, then it's definitely okay for the body. You get a little when things are for the body and you try to use them on your face, that could result in some interesting outcomes. But this, so I got the shade We Love Her, I believe, which is the more pink toned one. So as you can see, you know, this is probably the pinkest one I have. And let's see, I need a, a mirror of some sort. Okay, this will work. So I'm just going to put a little bit of that. See right there. Just absolutely gorgeous. I love it. So you can either, I know he also launched a fan, like an actual, not a brush, but an actual fan. You know, do I think you need the fan to be able to spray it on your cheekbones? No. Is it beautiful and matches this packaging? Yes. But they do have other shades of this. I'm thinking of picking up the white one just because you actually don't get a whole lot in here. So that's kind of disappointing. It's 1.6 fluid ounces, which is probably, you know, I mean, you definitely get a whole lot more. You get almost double for this Soul Glow Oil. And, you know, I mean, I think this was around 30 and these are 15. So, 
you know, the math there. I mean, obviously, you know, gotta love ColourPop. I honestly haven't ordered from ColourPop this whole year in 2019. I just honestly felt like I love the Super Shock Shadows. I have a lot of those. I love the metallic formula the best. Like these were my jam. And I mean, you know, five bucks. I don't know if they're more than that now, but I know that they were. You know, they're coming out with different stuff and they're expanding their brands to carry different products than just the super shot shadows the blushes, highlighters, bronzers, and then the lippy sticks. I do still have some of the lippy sticks that I love, but I wasn't a big fan of the blushes or the highlighters either. Sorry, my voice is cracking. Like, I was kind of sick, and then I don't have water in here. <laughs> my mouth feels like Arizona. But let's try these guys. So what should we do first? Not like you guys can talk to me. <laughs> Let's try this oil and then we'll try the shimmering dry oil. So they're both, I believe $15. So that's a great price considering you get three point, I should have brought in my glasses, 3.5 fluid ounces and three fluid ounces for the dry oil. So let's try this glow oil, and this is in rose. I wish that I could have, I mean, I still can show my legs. I guess I could stand on the chair. <laughs> let's just put it up here. Ah, where? It's very liquidy. It smells good. It has a really nice tropical, but more almost citrus tropical. So that is rosé. Yes, I have a huge scar here. No, we're not going to talk about it today. Maybe some other time. There is a story behind it, and it's kind of a long one. So that is beautiful. Look at that, just gorgeous. So let's see, do I have anything in here? It does transfer a little, but honestly, not as much as like the Anastasia Shimmering Body Oil. So yeah. <clears throat> It just smells so good. Okay, so I think basically I need more of these. I can tell that this is going to be a messy situation, but you know, to be expected. So let's try, we'll try the shimmering dry oil on my, we'll try it right here. So I know I have some of the one there. Okay, let me get like scared. Oh. <laughs> oh shit. Oh wow. Okay. So this is really uh obviously I this is kind of weird. I wish I could, <laughs> you, you, you could feel me, <laughs> sounds so weird. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna say that I definitely like the glow oil much more than the shimmering dry oil. The way that this sprayed, as you could see on camera, and unfortunately, I now have to 
wash my brand new Zero Fucks Club tank top, but because it just did, it just sprayed kind of very unevenly. And yes, I know that was my first time trying it. Let me see it. I can't get my. I, I just feel like they, it comes out like you would think a spray bottle. So like the, I feel like I'm saying like a lot. I don't like that I'm saying like this much. This is what I guess I had assumed that this would be. So I can't say that I love the fact that this is, I mean, it's not really, it doesn't say it's a spray, but I guess in my head, I thought that it would at least come out not so lumpy. Like it just, you know, it just comes out in a form where it's kind of hard to blend. So I would definitely, if you're going to go for ColourPop, I would definitely go for the glow oil and I I forget which one was before each other. I know that they launched and then they launched the other one and everybody, you know, people on 